to face a World Wrestling Federation superstar. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a singles match. Introducing first, Hilly from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Race Steel! And his opponent. Well, folks, Ray Steele in the ring now, a former HWA heavyweight champion. Of the past few weeks, he has taken a very aggressive attitude toward trying to get back where he feels he belongs, at the top of the HWA. And what a, what a test he has tonight, entering the arena now. A World Wrestling Federation superstar, a man who's been to WCW, a man who's been in Japan, wrestled all over the world. Hugh Morris is in the ring now, and Hoss with the introduction. Weighing in at 280 pounds. Wait a minute. Shut up. Let, let, let me get this straight. I come all the way down here. Hugh Morris not getting a lot of respect from the fans here, but we don't know whether he deserves any after what he did earlier tonight. I get sent all the way to HWA, Hua, Hobo Wrestling, so I can listen to Sean, Sean Stajak. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Oh, the young talent's so great, I can't wait. It's such a learning experience. That's a bunch of crap. Oh. I get sent here, and I get put in a main event with the leader of the HWA, and I get some big fat guy sitting in the corner yelling what? Yeah, they're talking to him like he's I the said, arresting big officer. I that guy in the corner yelling, what? Oh, wait a minute. Ray Steele, ring that bell. You heard Hugh Morris out here taking an issue with what Sean Stajak had said. Sean Stajak said it was an honor to be here in the HWA. That he was looking forward to competing with the young athletes, the guys that were going to the WWF for the future. He wanted to help if he could. It was a refreshing change for him. But Hugh Morris took issue to that. Hugh Morris feels like he's he's been sent down here to a, a level that's beneath him. He can't be he can't be forced to try to contribute oh. something back to his profession. So he comes out here and he insults the people. He insults Ray Steele, Ray's a former HWA champion. And now Hugh Morris, maybe he realizes he bit off a little more than he could chew because Ray Steele was not going to stand back and let his people be spoken to like that, Brock Guffman. And it doesn't look like, oh, well, wait, wait a minute, Ray Steele coming back. Look, there, you know, I think the whole thing, the whole rise of Ray Steele is gonna end here tonight because Hugh Morris is gonna take care of him. He doesn't look so tough now, does he, Jimmy? Well, no, I will give you that. Ray Steele took a tremendous concussive impact in that corner when all of Hugh Morris's some 300 pounds came crashing in at about 45 miles an hour. Ray Steele, as we said, trying to get back to where he feels he belongs, the HWA Heavyweight Championship. Over the past few weeks, Race has made it, made it well known that he was going to do whatever it took to get back to the top, but he was still going to stay true to his own values as a man. And he hasn't taken shortcuts. He's been more aggressive. He hasn't cheated and lied. He's gone out and worked harder, and he's getting back to where he needs to be. But now Ray Steele faces one of the toughest single challenges of his entire career against a man who has big to the, been to the big stage, Hugh Morris, who has now trapped Ray Steele in that hold. Oh, wait a minute. Now those clubbing right hands and the folks here in the Davis Arena climbing all over Hugh Morris. Ray Steele does not look like that he is ready to take on the kind of competition that Hugh Morris is ready to dish out. He, you know, he's always coming out here and saying that he, He's at the top of his game. Well, now, look at that. Look at And Ray Steele cheated. Ray Steele. Those Ray are close fists. He is firing back. Yeah, he's fighting fire with fire. He's doing what he has to do. Hugh Morris would do the same thing. High elevation on the backdrop there. Hugh Morris, pressing it. And I'll tell you, when you go to, to Dayton or you go to Oscars or you go to the Red Barn and you see the HWA stars in action, you know that they are giving everything they got. And now Hugh Morris glaring at the fans. Hugh Morris going to the top. Looks like he's going for a, a high risk move and it could be, oh wait a minute, that elbow two thirds of the way across the ring, but Ray Steele rolled out of the way. And Brock Gubman, if Ray Steele can get to his feet, then he will have a chance at an upset here. That's the whole thing, if he can get to his feet. I don't know if he's got anything left in him. You may have taken it all out. Oh, well he had that left in him. That too. Steele pressing it. Count of two by referee Joe Copez. Ray Steele. 
you got to realize that Steele knows that a win over Hugh Morris in his, in his playbook would mean so much oh. for his career. Power slam, two and oh, two and a half count at the very least. Ray Steele would wake him up in the World Wrestling Federation if he were to defeat Hugh Morris here. Morris is rocking. Steele all over the top of him. The referee trying to trying to get him back to give Hugh Morris some respite. But so far, Ray Steele stomping a mud hole in Hugh Morris and trying to walk it dry. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. That's fighting fire with fire, like you said before. Well, Morris sidestepped. Ray Steele's head met the turnbuckle or possibly even the ring post there. And now Hugh Morris. A slam, he's going to the top. He is going to the top for that moonsault that he likes so well. But wait a minute. Oh, no, there's oh, Sean Stajak. My hey. God, Sean Stajak. As Morris went for that moonsault off the top. Ray Steele was in perfect position. The referee was looking to steal. And Sean Stajak came out and split the legs of Hugh Morris right off that top rope. Hugh Morris landed on his ample-sized head. Steel cutter. Steel cutter, that's his move. Ray Steel hey, no. hooks the leg. He got it. That's not right. Hugh and Morris is a WWF superstar. But Ray Steel is the winner of this match. Can you believe it? Ray Steel has won this contest. Ray Steel defeated Hugh Morris in what has to be termed an upset. But it was tit for tat. Sean Stajak came out and was the difference maker. Much as Hugh Morris caused Sean Stajak's loss to Johnny the Bull earlier in the program. And I will tell you folks, oh wait a minute, Hugh Morris calling for the microphone. If you think that I'm spending one more minute in this thing. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that to if you. If you think I'm spending one. Well, Hugh Morris trying to say something. Oh, now he's just giving up. The folks here in the Davis Arena have pretty well hooted Hugh Morris straight out of the building. To recap, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the main event, Ray Steele, defeating WWF superstar Hugh Morris in an exciting one-on-one -on -one confrontation. But Sean Stajak was the difference maker. Folks, thanks for joining us tonight on the Heartland Wrestling Association. For Les Thatcher and Brock Guffman, I'm Jim Cornette. We'll see you next week. Same time, same channel, right here on the Heartland Wrestling Association.